How's it going, YouTube? This is Wi-Fi Mammon here today, bringing you guys a best of free against Pazu Free. Uh, he is rocking out with Akindra, Polito, Cinderace, Incineroar, Kabalion, and Dragapult. Now, Pazu is um, a guy that's in the Discord that is uh, right now running a um, tournament, you could say. And um, I'm lucky enough to actually be in the finals of his tournament. I ain't lost a single match yet. Um, this is just a battle that we just did to just kind of have fun. Maybe um, promote um, his tournament a little bit. Because right now we're looking for some more players. So I'm going to leave uh, Pazu's um, Discord in the uh, description down below. Go ahead and give him a holler. And he will... Um, Ask him to invite you to this uh, Saturday tournament. Uh, this this week's uh, tournament we uh, did a best of one and then not the finale, which I'm still waiting on. We're, we're sitting here kind of waiting uh, at the moment anyway to get to the final battle. Um, but from my understanding, that's a best of three. And uh, I'm going to be uh, uploading all these battles I did in this tournament as well. Just to kind of help maybe promote the tournament just a little bit more. But yeah, it was a, it's really been a really fun experience so far. A lot of VGC um, games. A lot of, you got to, you know, I mean, you're in tournament mode. You got to be ready. Especially in best of one, you got to predict what your opponent wants to bring. And you have to learn to adapt just a little bit better. You know, so anyway, let's get into this best of three. Uh, the reason I switched Charizard out is because I was afraid of a rock slide from this Kabalion. Instead, though, he decides to Dynamax. So now I'm like, oh, okay, that's not good. So Rockfall comes out. So he does have the rock move, and um, he actually confirmed while we were in the battle. I guess around this time, I think he uh, commented or something saying, Man, Stone Edge just doesn't do that much damage to a uh, uh, Gastrodon. I was like, you have Stone Edge and you don't have Rock Slide? Oh, man, I could have totally, totally catch Hazard in. But I didn't know. And, um, I mean, to me, it was a pretty good bluff. You know, I don't even know if Kabayan can get um, Rock Slide. I just thought, oh, crap, he gets Rock Slide. You know, I mean, he looks like something that could run Rock Slide. Uh, Dragapult goes for beat up now, so now this is a very, very scary situation for me. As my board does not really look all that well that can handle this uh, Kabalion. I got Gastrodon and Didi. I'm not going. I mean, Gastrodon's got an Earth Power, and Didi's got Mystic Fire. Uh, I believe I did protect that uh, Didi though this turn. And uh, he goes for. I believe a Max Steel Spike into my uh, Gastrodon. No, into Ndidi. That's right. Okay, yeah. And Ndidi with the Protect is able to survive. But now this thing's got um, plus defense as well. And with the Sand, it's got a pretty decent uh, special defense. And right here, I'm like, okay, we got to try and stall out this uh, Dynamax just a little bit. So that's why I kind of played a more defensive turn this turn. Went with the uh, Recover and the Protect. Right here, though, I went ahead and Dynamax my Gastrodon, figuring, okay, Gastrodon might be my best bet at this moment just to do something against this Kabalion. I got to get damage out here on the board. I've went, this is turn three, and I still ain't really done big damage. I've, and that's pretty bad because he's doing a lot of damage to me. He's got, he put, he's putting on a lot of pressure early on, is what I've noticed. And, um, so the Dragon Poke goes for a, uh, Dragon Darts, which is actually going to be uh, enough to knock out Ndidi. I wonder if it would have knocked me out if it wasn't a crit, but, ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it probably would have still knocked me out. A Kabalion goes for the, um, Max Knuckle, and that did a lot of damage. I'm going to retaliate back with a Max Quake into the Kabalion. I do quite a bit of damage. And right here, I'm like, okay, I believe he's going to Undynamax. So what I want to do is go ahead and go into my Rillaboom 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and do a uh, fake out play fake out and I'm gonna go ahead and go for Max Geyser into Kabalion as well because I do not think uh, Glassy Glide when this uh, Kabalion is a uh, plus one defense would be enough to KO after my fake out damage I was like I have to get rid of this Kabalion this turn if Glassy Glide will not get it out next turn so I was like okay the fake out and I mean that's that's rough range. I mean it's hard to tell. Dragon Arts does come back out, gets a crit on my Gastron, which activates my Apapa Berry, which is great in a way. I mean I get some recovery back at least. Um, but that Dragapult's doing so much damage, and I really have not ha gave gave it an answer yet because I've been too worried battling this Cabalion to really can't focus on that uh, Dragapult. Finally able to KO the Kabalion though, and now I have to at least a try and um, get rid of this Dragapult, right? I still got, I believe, one more turn of Dynamax. As long as I don't get KO'd, we should be okay. Um, let's see. He brings in. I'm trying to think on top of my head there for a second. Uh, Cinderace. That's right. Yes. Alright, so Cinderace comes in. So I'm going to go for Glassy Glide into the Dragapult. I'm going to follow that up with uh, Max Quake after this Dragapult goes for um, Dragon Darts. And then Cinderace goes for a high jump kick into my uh, Rillaboom, which will be enough to KO it from its range where it's at. So, yeah, not looking too good for your boy Gastrodon now. Uh, we are able to go for Max Quake. And we're able to pick up the KO onto the Dragapult, which is huge. Right? I mean, I believe... I believe uh, Gastrodon is the last Pokemon on my side. I might be wrong. I may actually have uh, one more. I do. I got I got Zard, and he's got um, Incineroar. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know why... I feel so sleepy today in this narration, and I, I have no excuse on why. It's just been one of those days. The sun's been shining. It's been hot. Yeah. <laughs> but, anyway. We'll get through this. Uh, Alright, so right here, I'm going to go for Protect. I'm predicting a high jump kick from this uh, Cinder Race. So I was like... Yeah, maybe we can get him to crash or something. He actually goes for Iron Head, and I believe he goes into the Gastrodon. Um, I guess he was just trying to change his uh, typing just to kind of help resist the attack or something. But really and truthfully, Iron Head really isn't the smartest one. I right hear he goes for Sucker Punch into my Zar now, though. Activates my Citrus Berry. And I'm thinking, man, I really wanted to get my Belly Drum off. But really can I even really afford that I don't even know if I really can uh, I do get the flinch on the uh, Incineroar which is great not doing that much damage though so I was like man I I gotta get this um, belly drum off and I mean Gastron did did good with the recovery you know getting able to pull that off thanks to Charizard's uh, flinching the flinching the Incineroar uh, Cinder Race goes for Sucker Punch. I did opt to go for Belly Drum. Like I said, my damage output is nothing. I'm really hoping for that uh, Incineroar to try and focus hard on my uh, Gastrodon. But he does not. He goes right into uh, my Zard. Um, so, that kind of sucks. We do go for Scald. Into the Incineroar. And I was really hoping to pick up this KO. We failed, and that really sucks because that pretty much sealed the game for this first battle. Uh, we do have a second battle that we did, so uh, we'll jump into this right after uh, you get to see my Gastrodon get murdered right here. Um, I believe it's actually, I do make a pretty good play. I do predict a high jump kick, and it really doesn't matter if I predict it or not, right? I had to get two protects off and everything but I do predict this high jump kick just kinda like okay I'm in your head just a little bit man I mean come on 
I do know that you're going to be going for a high jump kick, so take your half health, you know? <laughs> that way you don't beat me too, too badly, right? Maybe if I can get a double protect off or something, maybe I might be able to knock out this um, Cinder Race, and then we can worry about the Incineroar later, but it's me having to try and get a double protect, I believe. Um, let's see what I end up selecting. Ooh, okay, so I opted to go for Recover. Knowing that the odds of me uh, getting Double Protect is very, very low, but that would have been the play if I got Double Protect. Because this Incineroar looked like his offense against Gastrodon was Flare Blitz, which wouldn't have been doing much at all. But anyway, guys, um, great game. Great game one, Pazu. Uh, let's get into battle number two. Going into battle number two against Pazu. I'm looking at his team. I'm thinking, man, that could bow me on uh, having Stone Edge over um, Rockside. It really makes me just want to lead Charizard again and maybe try and get into a scenario to where uh, I can get Bellydrum off. Because looking at his team, if he, I mean, on paper, his team does look like it can do decent against Charizard. But how does it do against Charizard plus Rillaboo? And to me, that's a question I wanted to see how he answers. You know, this. I mean, because Charizard being Belly Drum and stuff, and I have Max Rockfall for your fire types, I, so I really feel like I still have a really, really good matchup here. Uh, he goes ahead and sends out his Cinderace and Dragapult. So, right here thinking to myself okay I gotta I'm gonna get my belly drum off there's no there's not much that he can do right um well he get Dynamax is his cinder race and he does one of the craziest moves I've ever seen and I it works it really does work and I should have seen this coming with what they were after what we were talking about in chat not too about a day ago before we done this battle. I should have definitely seen this coming. So I go for follow me. And uh, well he goes for surf. Yeah. One. Ouch. Two. That's a weakness policy cinder race. And that Dragapult is surf. Yeah this is not going to be good. This is not good. So he goes for max knuckle. And he one shots my Togekiss. I do get my belly drum off though. So I was like, okay. Now, we do know how annoying this Dragapult was in the last game with those Dragon Darts. Now, knowing that it's also um, able to go for Surf. Oh man, dude. This is, this is crazy. Craziness. So, um, I'm. Sitting here with Charizard, I'm thinking, how am I going to do this? I have to go into Togekiss, right? Like, that's what I'm thinking to myself. I have to go into Togekiss so I can get Follow Me off. But then I'm like, what if Dragapult wants to go for Dragon Darts? And then it will go straight into um, Zard anyway, right? So, I mean, a lot of questions. I went ahead and Dynamax my Charizard. So that way, maybe I can do my... Yeah, maybe if I can Dynamax Charizard, I can um, maybe survive an attack or something. But, man, this ain't looking promising, I'll tell you that right now. From turn one, too. It was pretty crazy. So I'll go for Follow Me. Uh, Dragapult goes for Phantom Force, though, which really pretty much sealed the deal. I was like... Okay, am I playing that open book here? Jeez. Fireball comes out, KO's my Togekiss. And I'm like, ooh, this is not looking like a good game for me. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. If you want to uh, kind of get off topic, because, I mean, at this point, you can definitely see that um, this battle is definitely going to Pazu's favor. Uh, I do make a pretty cool play here, but... Yeah, I'll be able to see it right here in an instance. But, yeah, if you guys want to come and join this tournament that uh, Pazu's got opened up and everything, it's 
really been a blast. I've enjoyed myself really doing it. And I'm thinking I'm going to be um, uploading all my matches anyway when I do go into these tournaments and stuff. Like, um, and this for this tournament, I'm going to probably upload all of my battles all at once. Because they're all best of one, you know. Until the finale. I think I might um, make the finale battle um, its own separate video because just of how time leaps and stuff is and stuff. But, yeah, I mean, seriously, I think it's going to be a really fun tournament once we can get a lot more people involved. Um, for me, I had to do like four battles and then I made it to the finale. So, I believe there was 18 players overall. So, yeah, pretty good, pretty fun set and everything. Um, so, I think you guys need to go... I mean, if you guys are serious about um, improving your... Um, games there's a, a pokemon game and try and get better before tournaments start back up i believe in 2021 this might be a um a way that you can get some practice in um yeah it's at, you play in the comfort of your own home you play and obviously you play against really good players because right here i mean this is the guy that's running the tournament pazu he does really good uh, I know he's not very he's not known in the Pokemon community or nothing I don't believe but just more of a uh, showing you the type of talent that's also already in the tournament um, like I know the BP gamer he was the one that kind of sent me this way towards the tournament he's in it in fact um, I actually have a battle I had against him in the tournament, which would be a, it's a fun little battle. And then, um, I don't know if you guys know these players, but um, Cursing Sun and I'm Pretty Trash and VGC are also um, in. And th those two are really good. I've heard of their names before type of players, you know. Um, there are a few new ones in here too that's just wanting to get their feet wet. So there's players of all sorts of variety and... Um, this tournament and everything so I think you guys can definitely learn from this tournament and I think it can help improve your game overall anyway guys if you guys did enjoy this is Wi-Fi Merriman signing out peace